Night Walk by Sarah O'Leary Illustrations by Ellie Arscott Night Walk The time was long past when I should have been dreaming, but I lay in my bed, owl-eyed and awake. Dad appeared in my doorway. Can't sleep? he asked. Come on, we'll go for a walk. My little brother was in the crib, with his bottom up in the air as usual. My big sister was in her bunk, with the ladder pulled up after her. And in the living room, my mother was sleeping in front of the television because she likes to watch movies with her eyes shut. I had been out after dark before, but this time was different. We were going out just to be out, and it was just Dad and me. We walked from one island of light to the next, like explorers. Seen by night, Everything seemed new and strange. When the world is dark, the lighted windows of people's houses mean that you see everything you don't see by day. In one house, there were lights on in every room. The next house only had one lonely light shining. I saw for the first time that the sad-looking woman's shop was also a home and that she wasn't always sad. <laughs> In one house, a big family was eating a meal too late for supper and too early for breakfast. They were so happy, it made me happy too. Was it always like this when I was asleep in my bed at night? So many people everywhere. When I was a child, we lived in the country, said Dad. I could walk for miles without ever seeing another house or a neighbor. I've always lived here, surrounded by people I know and people I don't know. I can't imagine living anywhere else. I belong here, and here belongs to me. I am home. The 